please tell me that you have seen Jasper the Doll on TikTok. No, so I only came across the, like a recording. What do you mean? Like someone miming along to oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. and being like, you will never find anything girl like me. But what's that. going on? <laughs> idea i think there's a girl in the videos and like you can see the top of her head and jasper the dog calls her bestie but i think the the person who does it and they do it really fucking well because they record but when jasper the doll is across the room the voice is also across the room so i don't know how the fuck they're doing it but i think the person who's voicing it his name is scott because the first video that i saw was like you guys i think and then all you hear is scott it's like what? <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? I think like, I'm making a video. And then she's like, okay, that's what amazing. Is this? It's like Cynthia on crack. Remember Cynthia from the Rugrats? Yeah. It, on crack, and it's just, it's it's giving me fucking life. <laughs> I like when I play it. Yeah. Like, Let's bake. Like I, it, it's just fucking fantastic. So they made muffins. This is. Wow, for waiting. For the Havana. For banana bread my piss. <laughs> it's just all good. <laughs> <Like a lot. laughs> Welcome. Oh, that sounded like a fucking babe station introduction. Hello, and you're very welcome along to the Unpopular Opinion podcast. My name is Jen. I'm Carla. And said, it feels like we haven't fucking been a work in ages, doesn't it? Because <laughs> we did it last Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, t- I tend to fuck up the uploads though when we do it that early in the week. I'm I know. I did notice that. I always I did notice that. Because I'm just like, I'm getting shit done. Look at me, I'm getting shit done. And then I always fuck it up. I was yeah. in the dentist on Monday morning. It was like, Lads, this is yesterday's episode. Yeah, we just re uploaded the same episode to Patreon. I'd say they were delighted. Stop saying we. Look, it's my fault. I fucking did it. Right? I did it. I'm I'm your supervisor. And and I do it again. You're not a very good one. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm not a very good employee. I woke up and I saw the messages. I just screenshotted them. Jen, it's a problem. It's a problem. No, you didn't even. No, you screenshotted one of the Patreon messages. Yeah. Or the comments, and you just sent it with no context. No you context, just just, send just it. screenshot. And then I was like, "We'll sort now." No reply. <laughs> just <laughs> you're a CEO, and you don't need to reply to me. I'm a boss bitch. I got <laughs> workers. <laughs> I got worker bees. <laughs> well, I stay queen bee. What can I say? Uh, we're looking to hire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to look at equipment there to record visually, yeah. and we're just like, what? Well, Mm. I've been watching some fucking American telling us the difference between two cameras, oh like two god. ticks. Oh my god! Sitting here, Fuck there is fake. a certain je ne sais qual at doing your everything your own. Yeah, like it's wild. Some of the stuff that we spend time on, I wish I could actually vlog. How shit it is! No, just how mad some of the things that we've spent time on. Yeah, like looking up and buying and returning, and, then and people and ask us for advice. <laughs> literally, <laughs> oh, fuck me. We're here like three and a half, nearly four years into it, and we're like still like so, toddlers. But we're, we're about the only podcast that doesn't have visual yet. How but I, fucking bad because is that? we do it ourselves. That's I what I mean. I know. And the only people who do it and do it themselves are soloists. Could we get or men? For some reason, men figure this shit out so easily. And I don't know what it is. They have a certain attention to detail or attention to, I don't know. They have more hearing. time on their hands. They do. They do. They have fucking more time on their have, hands. Yeah. They're like, let me just look up all of these mad different things. Yeah. We, I think like we just go, Jen. We just go rant. We're like, that sounds good. Purchase. Rant. <laughs> yeah, I know. Then return. Two weeks later. Like, oh, that doesn't work. Return. I think, I think mm. we should approach um, just before us summer holidays hit like a summer job for like a student like a jobs yeah, bridge kind yeah, of thing yeah <laughs> an apprentice it's an apprentice <laughs> give them a box of chocolates at the end of the summer <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, hilarious anyway uh we're on patreon as well that's where that fuck up happened um happens quite a lot but they they always forgive me for some reason it doesn't uh, happen if, a lot it's happened three times it's happened more than on the main episode with patreon 
Yeah, but the main episode is just like, that's just... They're in it with us, though. The patrons are in it with us. You know, they, they're can't. in the trenches. Yeah, exactly. They want <laughs> us to like, do lads, better. We still haven't delivered. It happened again. <laughs> like, you fucking idiots. Yeah. It's great. I loved it. Love that for them. Uh, we're, yeah, so we're on Patreon. So five extra episodes every month for six of you or us. Come out a day after the main one. Stale. Stale. Um, that'll be in the description below. This episode, we're talking about Y2K fashion. Talk about YTK fashion because I feel like we're in. I can't hack what's going on right now with fashion. Yeah. I haven't been able to hack it for a while. Yeah, you've been saying this a while, yeah. I haven't been able to hack it for a while. But in particular, we've come, you know, the belts are coming back. The circle belts. Circle ones. And the, the circle metal belts, you know, I, the ones, guys. They are now being shown. By six foot five Gen Zers on TikTok around like a Skims fucking dress. I'm like, I can't cope. I can't yeah, do this again. I know. It is gone kind of crazy. Are there, like, uh, when you look back and see some of the fucking disasters that we had, but you know, look back, at, back with fondness. You do, you but. Have to. You and do like, look back with fondness. Camouflage trousers are back. Uh, they've been back sure we wore them to the shows I know but that's what I mean like we were kind of going where the fuck are we going to get camouflage trousers every literally <laughs> the week later I, I, it must have it must have come into us subliminally you know that kind of where, where something kind of penetrates your brain and you don't even realise it's happening it, that's nearly what happened because it was like the week later I was in Morks and Spencers and for some reason I was going upstairs and there was a wall of them a wall of camouflage trousers and here was us trying to source them on every fucking website going. Every fast fashion app <laughs> that we had. <laughs> it was like, where are we going to get these? Got them, but then they were out like a week later. No, but you know what's cracking me up? It's the the wide leg jeans with the t-shirt combo. Like very Christina Aguilera. Yeah. It's just, also, fr- it's yeah. just too much. It's freaking me out just a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know? The, like the, the belts that were like material plaid. They were plaid. I used yeah. to call them Indian belts. For so, absolutely not Indian. No, not I'm, and I mean when I say Indian, I don't mean the country of yeah. or the continent of. Excuse my ignorance. The India, the place. I mean Native American kind of when you say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, that's so inappropriate. Like that's an Indian belt. <laughs> you know, like fucking. That's rock. Gobshite going around going. I have to, I'm a Chinese writing top. That kind of thing. The Chinese writing tops. They're. We're on the cusp of that. Oh, they're absolutely going to make a comeback. But yeah, for me, it's everybody wearing like cargo camo parachute pants. Hip hop dancing pants. Hip hop da- Thank you. Hip hop dancing pants. S- step up pants. Like with a corset they're- and a little pochette bag and like some chunky. Tr- I'm like, for fuck's sake now, this I is know, too much. I know. I've seen people wear them with like. You know, the bandeau tops and everything. I was like, no, no. If you put your hair in a twist, I'm not doing this. All you need is a bandana on your head. Like, that design. It's it's just like, it seems to be evergreen. It's like, everybody knows that design. That's a bandana. Baby pink, baby blue. White. Manky. Manky white. Because you started wearing, like... <laughs> Jergens. No, you start wearing makeup at the same time. So it was all over the fucking bandana. And it was in your hairline. And it was like, I don't, I, I, and then bra straps that were on show, but they've been washed so much, they were grey. Yeah. And also, who the t- fuck did we think we were fooling with the clear The clear straps? ones are my favourites. But they get stained from the tan? Yeah. They get stained just from being on your skin so much. <laughs> they get so stretched out too. Oh. They're fucking, they look like plastic straws. <laughs> <laughs> They're just wrapped around your shoulders. When I think of some of the shit that I used to wear. I just can't imagine stepping outside of this house now with a pair of parachute pants on. Yeah. A, a bandeau top. Mm-hmm. My hair done in twists, probably. And I have that, you know, the thing that you kind of did during the summer? Because you're always above the trends, before the trends, the, uh, the stamper for the Yeah, the yeah my gem stamper. Yeah. Gem stamper, yeah. yeah, they're in pennies now. I know, I saw, I was like, lol. I know, the gems are back. Little yep. butterfly clips. Yep. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, we had them for the shows too. We did. We went all out. We went all out and then fucking hell, like, it all comes back in. We were like, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be a piss take. This was, yeah, t- I was like, mm, it's getting a little bit too close to co- for comfort. Why are we manifesting this? Yeah, I don't know why we do these things. 
yeah no it was a it was a ropey time and then I also around that time had a lot of hand-me-downs from my sister okay so we're different size feet I'm one or two sizes smaller than her so I but I'd still wear them oh Jenny and some were white some were white shoes Jenny didn't I did yeah tissue no you didn't you didn't stuff shoes I stuffed my shoes Jennifer I did going to the vortex no Ah, it's grand I'll wear them no. Yeah, I did. No, shut the fuck up. Really? Do you know, your feet wouldn't be sore at the end of the night because the shoes are too fucking big on you. Do you know what it was? I think it's also because it was such a time of, there was no fast fashion. Do you get me? So there was just like, you had to make do. Like if your sister had a pair of white stilettos and you needed to wear them, you would figure it out. There was none of this yeah. kind of like, I'll pop on to PLT or I'll do this, that and the other. It was very much like, they're perfect actually. Thanks. <laughs> Blessed. Blessed, Blessed, actually. That's, best. that's really good. <clears throat> I'll fucking correct you. Fast fashion was absolutely available. You just had to make your way into the Ilex Centre and Henry Street. But it didn't turn over as quick. Like Catch and all of those stores, they didn't. Fab, Tokyo, But no they were name. still the same clothes for three months. Oh yeah, no, they were. You know? But it was definitely fast fashion. No, fast fashion is the constant turnover. Is the like new like producing like trend like trend based constant like turnover? Do you get me? Is and, it? Yeah, no. Fast fashion isn't like made very badly. It, it also is that, but it's also the that's fact what that I it's co- constant yeah. consumption. It's like constantly changing trends. Like ASOS have an upload every two days. Do you yeah, know, like that kind collection. of stuff. Yeah, I see. I I kind of more so put it in the bracket of like it's been made very unethically and the workers aren't. Yeah, you it's know. all that too. But I think with those places, it was less. I wouldn't put it in the same bracket as fast fashion because it was still, we still bought the shit and wore it for three years. That's very true, yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't well made. It wasn't, you know. That's because it, there was no, like, because you had to go into Henry Street and Alex Center. You weren't yeah, going in there. You weren't there. going in there. <laughs> you were going in, like, during the school holidays, if even. I just, I had this you top. You had to make the trek, like. I had this top and my mum would never let me shop in those stores and I was fucking raging. She was like, they're so tacky and I was like, how very dare you. She was, Daph was right. She was absolutely on it. Like when you look back, I'm like, okay, that's fast fashion. Okay. And she still won't shop fast fashion. She won't. She, well, she's right. She has, probably has pieces. She does. She's quality pieces. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> like she'll, t- no, I'll tell you something. She'll I actually wi- hate that word. I think we've said that recently enough. Pieces. Pieces. No, that and I'm um, curating. And what's the other one that I absolutely cannot stand? Journey. Can't cope with journey. Everything's a journey. I said this before. Everything is a fucking journey. Why is it a journey? Just be normal. <laughs> say you're getting gowns. Just say you're getting Botox. It's not a journey. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not. Like, it's not. Starting my aesthetics journey. Can't cope. Anyway. I, yeah, now, as I was saying, my mother will happily take now my boohoo cardigan if she likes it, you know, that kind of way, yeah, but she won't yeah. act if she won't go and purchase off these websites. Nobody knows she she's in a breeze. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she is a wild thing. But I had this one top, oh my God, I'll never forget it. And I, I bought it myself on Henry Street. And I remember being like, I'm in here and I'm going to get fucking slaughtered when I get home. But oh well. Okay. And it was three quarter length sleeve. Three, Okay. And the sleeves were baby blue. You know, the cut off, yeah? Yeah. So the sleeves were baby blue, three mm-hmm. quarter length. And then it was cream with a big Snoopy head on it. Oh my God. <laughs> and I remember being like, this fits perfectly with my baby blue parachute pants. Yeah. And I think I wore black runners maybe with them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite, it was quite something. Yeah. And I remember my mum being like, where did you get that? And I was like, I think I lied. I can't remember where I said I got it. She was like, no, actually, that's quite nice. Oh, really? But I was also 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say she was like, good for you. Gotcha, duff. Yeah. Did you probably said, oh, I went into roaches or Debenhams. I can't remember what I said. It. I remember just being like, Yeah, it was in the bargain basement in Arnett's, actually. You were flat out in no name, downstairs in no name. Do you know what cracks me up? Do you remember those trips into town when you were younger? And you had no destination and you were almost nervous. You were like, it's a big, bad world out here. <laughs> That's obviously where the social anxiety started for me. So I did, you, were yeah. kind of like, you were walking. I remember being like, this is so much to take in. Yeah. I thought I was in Times Square. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm getting from one side of the bridge to the other, like over to Grafton like, Street or whatever. And I like, couldn't afford a thing. You're like, like step foot on the street and you're like broke. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> fuck. Like, what the fuck? I know. Yeah. yeah. Asha was another one, but that was more so for the... Ash is still going, I think it is. It was for the alternative clothing. The alternative, yeah. And yeah. then there was, a, there was another one. you could one get called... cool accessories like chains for your um, parachute pants if you're in the Absolutely, mood. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. cool. yeah. There was another one called, I don't want to say, it was in between Henry Street and, is it Mary Street? And there's like a road there. Miss Moneypenny used to be on it. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Abbey Street. Is that Abbey Street? Liffey Street, Abbey Street. Sorry, it was in between Abbey Street and Henry Street. There's still one there. I should know this because I used to always be there. You know where the Lewis Road... I think that's... That's Abbey Street. No, but that's over that side. It's over the Arnott side. So the back of Arnott's, right? So say if you're going... You come out of Arnott's at the side door where... They've got like 99 cafes there. So if you come out of Arnott's at the side door... Yeah. Marks and Spencers is right across, so you can walk from yeah, Jervis yeah. Mm-hmm. straight in, like come out of Marks and Spencers, walk into Arnott's. Mm-hmm. There's that road, right? Mm-hmm. I cannot remember the life of it. And then there's this little road, which is I want to say Liffey Street, but I'm probably incorrect, so apologies. Where the Lewis comes up and down, mm-hmm. the Lewis, and on the corner there, right, there was still up until I think two years ago, one there's of them a, shops. There was a catch, or and then I then I think Coast went in there because it got expensive. I was like, oh. What? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Coast went in there, but there was another, like, similar to Asha. Don't think it was called Bruxelles. I think that was a pub. But I know people who went to Bruxelles shopped in there. <laughs> it was another one. Because my friend went through this phase and she was like, oh, like, you know, going real alternative or whatever. Went into this shop and I was like, this looks like it. You could buy, buy a potion in here. And there was a, I think there was a down hair dye. You could get all this cool Can't shit. Can't like. remember the name of it, but I do remember going in and going, oh, I'm out with my gift in here. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. This is fucking right. It's all this is. <laughs> but even the pants, like they were, they were, it, they were across between Snickers and Bell Bombs. Sorry, there's, there's an H Samuels as well around the corner. That just cracks me up. I'm, str- I'm trying to find out what this bloody street is called. I think, yeah, it's the one that Miss Money Penny was on. I do yes. think, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I know I know what you mean by yeah. the cafes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. So Henry Street, little side lane, Abbey Street, little side lane. Maybe it is. It's Liffey, Liffey Street, Street because it's Liffey yeah, Street. I have it here. Across from yeah. the Haypenny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's Liffey Street. We are geography teachers. <laughs> And probably someone will come back being like, "Hey, Carla, no, it's not." And I'll be like, oh. I never ventured. Oh no, sorry, I'm a fucking liar. So the where's the Luaz? So it's Jervis Street. All right. On the corner of Jor- Jervis and L- and Liffey, I want to say. Right. We no, are not no, geography. No, no. Abbey Jesus. Street. It's fucking Abbey Street. I'm a clown. It's Abbey Street. Sorry. I know that because the academy's on it. It's Abbey Street. That's Apologies. what I've been saying. It's Abbey Street, guys. But then there's little side On the corner of Abbey Street and yeah. the, that little street where the thing is going on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I never ventured across the road, the Cleary side. Those little side no, streets. No, that was too. That was that like O'Connell Street still very much intimidates me. It's I, a very big street. I and people are gonna laugh at me, but I feel like there's just nothing for me on O'Connell there's Street. N- there's nothing going on. on there's nothing for me. Going Why on. is it so famous? Well, I've, obviously the shit that went on. Yeah. I mean, like, but like it's just kind of like. There's not really like there's a Burger King, there's McDonald's, you know, there's a casino but now. Like, even Cleary's. I never went like as a kid. I'd meet my mates under the Cleary's clock. I'd never go into the place. No. No, you wouldn't step foot into the place. I know there was a lovely pizza place over down one of those. I think it was across from Guinness. And there was like a little amusement thing called Barney's as well. But I only ever went there with my ma. Cool. Never went there by myself. <laughs> Could never. Could never. No. Could never, would that's never. It, it was I, like I was reaching the end of the world when I got to that part. It was just like, we, we, we go no further now. Okay. Yeah, there's just, there's <laughs> something about Henry Street and O'Connell Street that made me feel a bit too like small girl, big world. Really? Yeah. That's gas. I don't know if it was, they were so loud and busy and like things going on on them or what was yeah. going, but I always had, uh, like they, they, even thinking about them now, I'm like anxiety, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So your Y2K fashions, guys, yeah. uh, don't worry. You can buy them on every fast fashion website now. Um, but I do have to give a specific shout out to bandana tops, which were, oh my God, just Yeah, it's that design. Favorite. It's that, it's instantly recognizable, that design. Yeah, but they're about to come back and that's what's giving me the ick. So I had, <laughs> oh, I think, where did I get it? Where the fuck did I get this? I want to say Fairy House Market. 
Oh yeah, they were great for fast fashion. They were they were brilliant for all these random things. Yeah. The bandana for the head, right? Yeah. But it was folded over. Yeah, it was like a strip. Yeah. But on the strip that was out was Diamante's oh. stuck onto the, and it was white. My one was white, of course, the filthiest one. And what I mean, you couldn't get that fucking thing off my head. They did grey ones as well. And then when the Diamante started falling off, I didn't care. I continued to wear it. Because yeah. that's what you did. You did, yeah. You did. That's what you did. So you had that, You're, like, you know, the glue? Yeah. yeah. The glue would just be there and kind of gone yellow. Yeah. yeah monkey. Rallied. Rallied. Yeah. And you'd wear it until every diamante was off. And then you'd still wear it. Still wear it. Because you're like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. It's stylish either way. And even when the diamantes fell off, you didn't even care. You were like, I suppose it just shows that I love it so much. Exactly, yeah. And it just, it was one, it was a piece. It was a piece. It was a piece. It was a curated piece. It's just, it's so funny because we basically all thought we were fucking Tupac going around the place. Like, look. <laughs> Two pack. He basically Literally. had it, but it was tied at the front. It's because J Lo <laughs> had it in the Jenny from the Block era, and I just wa- I just wanted to be here in that era. Yeah, yeah. Um, another shout out to satin and lace camisoles. Satin and, and lace. lace camisoles. Oh God, I thought I was like no satin. So lace up the top, gang. Yeah, lace up the top and little lace straps, and then your bra, your clear bra strap if you were lucky, or your white manky looking bra strap if yeah. you were unlucky. And then like satin to around the belly button, maybe a little bit Basically lower. Basically pyjama top. Basically. A fancy pyjama top. A fancy pyjama top. If you were feeling freaky, mm. it would be crinkled. Yes. It would have like an accordion kind of pattern, rhythm going on. Um, if you were unfreaky, mm. it would just be the straight up, thin, yeah. super see, thin. See every curve. See your belly button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have this. So we've talked about the type of bras that I wear. They're not in any way padded. They're no. just a, a Gen wear is like crop tops. They're basically crop tops and there's no material. I take the little padding things out because yeah. it wrecks my head when I wash them and they get all curled up. They're from pennies like. Yeah. So I take them out. But I have, it's, it's like a silk short. It's not silk, it's satin or whatever. Whatever the fuck alternative they use to make these yeah. look like they are. Yeah, they're not. They're certainly they're not, not silk. Not, absolutely <laughs> not silk. But I wore it into work one day. And like that, it was that kind of sheer, no creases. You have to be so careful with it. Like, I have to steam it before I put it on to make yeah. sure that, you know, you don't look like a fucking weapon going around the place with a lot of crinkles. But I was in work one day, and I, like, obviously in the office can be quite muggy and, like, warm or whatever, but outside, li- immediately outside the office, it's cold as the hall. Yeah. Fucking nipples came out one day, and I was, like, I was walking towards my desk, and behind me sits a 50-year-old man, and... I was walking in and I just looked down and I was like, there's my nipples. <laughs> like, that's the material. You can literally see everything. everything. And you can also see the little uh, the little tag at the side. Oh, God. The little tag. Yeah. You know the way the little tag? Yeah. Quick one for everybody. And somebody told me this, I think it was on Snapchat years ago. And I've, it has not failed me since, especially with Bobby's vests. Because there's no tag at the back. So I'm like... It looks the same at the front as it does to the back. I'm like, is this back to front? What the fuck? The tag always goes on your left. There's a little hack for you. The tag on your tops, if you don't have it at the back and it's at the side, always goes on your left. left. Okay. So if you're wondering if something's back to front or not. It goes on your left. It goes on your left. Okay. Somebody taught me that and it's stuck with me since. Okay, so the tag goes on your left. Very fucking handy for a child's vest. Do you know it's also coming back in a big way in an apps? I don't understand because I didn't hear it came back, but then I saw it more than I heard it. So I saw it on so people was talking about, and it. I was doing a model's makeup, and she had it, and I was like, "What's going on here? What the fuck is going on here?" And the glitch in the matrix, what? gem on the teeth. <gasps> That's back. What? That's back, Jen. That's what I mean. Not. I didn't hear anything about it. And I was doing this model's makeup and she's around 22 and she had it. And I was like, what the fuck? And then it kept coming up on all the Gen Zers TikToks. And I was like, hold on. On the little canine. The little on the canine. Yeah. Oh my but now they're God. doing like on three. Some people have them on all. They have a grill. They have a grill of them. Fuck. The gem on the tooth. What? The gem on the fucking tooth is back. They've, they've, Gen Z have some fucking neck they've to be some nerve, saying that don't how, they? Cr- how cringe we are. And they're literally gemming on the tooth and very bizarre. Everything. Um, the long denim skirts, I can't cope with them. Oh, I fucking can't cope. 
and I see them all trying to do them with their yeah exactly. I just feel like shivers. I know <laughs> the long denim, but I keep seeing people try to style them, and it's like styling video with my long denim. I'm like, no. <laughs> There's some things I will not let back in. Is and I'm it? not letting that back in with Jen, with fucking knee high boots, with no! mantra, fucking mantra, <laughs> knee high boots. Yes, Jen. Yes. Uh, Call I'm me t- unstylish. Call me whatever. You will not catch me fucking do, dead do in a long denim, denim skirt. Do these have the seam up the front? Yes. And, just like, and, the, and the side angle cut to them too. No! You know the one where there's like the triangle, it's like but a it's tail. cut to the yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like popping off so the boot can just poke on out there i was like oh my god we are not the fucking cast of charmed yes Stop. yes fuck's sake oh my god i have no idea there but what algorithm are you on uh, you're a gen Zier. i think you're a gen Zier. <laughs> you're on the cusp i you're can't in the 90s. fucking cope yeah yeah anything denim anything denim skirt that's like I can cope with the, probably a short they kind of they've always been banging around the shorter denim skirt actually to be honest I've never I don't wear them so I don't know what yeah, I'm saying that same. Um, any denim skirt really sometimes I get a bit freaked when I see denim jackets but then people can make them look good I feel like denim jackets need to be oversized though. they need to be I have I have like three or four of them I've got a cropped one which is nice I've got mm. an oversized one which is nice but the only thing that I will say about these denim jackets it's very hard to figure out when to wear them It's because I'm always warm yeah. So when it gets to that spring is sprung, I'm not going to be, I'll be wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. I'm thinking of the really basic ones that were cropped, sp- like dead tight. I oh know. yeah, no. And the, they were thick. Yeah. They weren't that like even, thin. Couldn't even do this with your arms, like cross no. them over your body. Like, it was like an armour. Yeah, like there's not, there's no stretch. It was like. Rock it up Abbey Street I, in your armour. I sound like a real, uh, a real mouse. Like there's no stretch in that. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> Very <laughs> tight. No, they're not. You wouldn't be closing it. They're it's, not. It's literally just there for. <laughs> But what I will say is the the way that when you're younger, you wear the most uncomfortable things and you don't think about it. As mm. to now, if there's even a little turn in a top, I'm like, oh, I can't wear that. I know. I'm the same. Like all day, I'm miserable. I'm fucking sitting there miserable. No. I'm like, no, do you know what's really annoying me? It's they keep, they keep rolling. They keep rolling. Yeah. These tra- Yeah. These leggings. Yeah. They keep rolling. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Yeah. I know. I miserable know. the whole day can't like telling everyone around the office yeah they're rolling oh. yeah they keep rolling oh god no one cares and i'm like oh so uncomfortable these shoes so uncomfortable mm. there's a tag in this top i'll never wear it again <laughs> fucking what is the alternative when a tag is digging into you because i feel like you when chop you, it off when you chop it off though do you not get left with a hole no because if you do chop it off and you leave a little bit there so you don't get the hole there's still a bit of dig in it you pop all the seams Oh, you actually... You pop it, yeah. It's, you have it's to get craft a, a work. Sew, get a nail a, scissors. A sewing pop hook. The seams. There's an actual tool for that in, this, in a sewing kit. Okay, well, I'm going to do it with my nail scissors because I don't have a sewing kit. So I'm just going to do it with my nail scissors. You said you wanted scissors. to learn how to sew. I did, I do, I do. Uh, this one I will accept. Mm-hmm. Belly button bars with the hanging embellishments. Oh, are they back? They're back. I, have, I will accept it. Jewelry's I, fine. Belt or not. I have uh, my belly button pierced, but I don't uh, have an aunt in it at the minute because I, do- I was on the cusp of like, is this tacky? I, do- I, qu- I can't figure it yeah. out. And my belly button is a different, um, I want to say, breed now after having a baby. It's not like it looks great. I've no stretch marks or anything like yeah. that. And it's fa- but I have an outie now where I used to have an innie. So, like, that's not see. an outie, is it? Uh, yeah, it, but it was much deeper. Before. Yours is a real belly button. Do you think so? Mine's just a hole. See, mine used to know? be a hole. Mine's just a hole. You can't see anything in that. Now you can see it. Now, I think I'm taking out an earring, right? This is why we need to be visual. I'm going to see if this is still... Jen, I, I don't want to see this. I want to see if it's not after closing up because I've been think, I've been t- contemplating this for like months. Is it tacky or is it not? Will I keep me hole? I have me hole. It's there. It's still there. Well, no, take it out. I don't like to see it. <laughs> I did get rid of a tongue ring before because I saw a video. I think it was like... Did you have your tongue pierced, yeah? I did, yeah. Most, least painful piercing you'll ever have. I heard so many horror stories. All really? I to, yeah, as we know. Now it swells up quite a lot, so they give you a really large bar at the start so that it allows for the swelling. And then when it, it's healed, then you get the smaller bar. So yeah. like, it's it's literally like a fucking crane in your mouth for the first while. <laughs> but least painful piercing ever. 
ass. Now it swells up and it's sore after. Yeah. But when it's going in, you're just like, oh, is it done? Fuck. And you're like, oh, I was right, expecting okay. to faint and like, be asking and, yeah. for an ambulance and everything. Um, so listeners, we asked you guys, what was your biggest faux pas? Uh, these fucking hats. So... They're the saggy beanies. Saggy beanies. You know I the feel s- like they look great on men, but not on women. Ah, uh, Jen. Did you not think they look cute on men? Um, another favourite, these headbands. Oh. Which are like, oh. as Jen said, the Indian belt headbands. Indian belt. The plaited belt. headband. And Material. what was even worse like was suede. the ones that were the, the same colour as your hair, or so you thought. <laughs> Do you remember the ones out of players? You got a blonde one. And, it's, you, and it was Then you realised you weren't blonde. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you were, yeah, and then you... If they <laughs> were blonde, yeah. Like that fucking thing. Or the scarfs, the many scarfs, all of the scarfs, the triple layering of the scarfs. Yeah. Yeah. Or a little scrawny material scarf that did not. Oh, the little, the wisp. What What are they called? Stiletto scarfs? Pencil scarf? I don't know what they're anyway, called. Anyway, they, they were like wrapped, just They were just hanging. an accessory though. They were just hanging. Again, yeah. cast of Charmed. <laughs> um... Recession shoes. Please tell me that you called them this. What are recession shoes? Recession shoes. What are recession shoes? Uh, pencil skirts with a zip at the back. Oh, oh God. Violent. Oh, no. I feel like there's a time and a place for them. I feel like in the office, if you're like a bad boss bitch, which I hate that term, but you know the type. No. No? They're not wearing that. A pencil skirt. That. I never thought because I like when I was growing up and like going to the vortex and stuff. There was a lot of girls who wore pencil skirts to the club, and like yes. there is a lot remember of remember pencil skirts in the club era. Yeah, the and there was like even in say you see the likes of um the two pieces on Love Island now. Do you know what I mean? Like they're all pencil skirts. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Do you remember the bodycon stretchy ones? That would the 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 short bodycon ones, and you'd wear them with a tank top tucked in. No, do you not remember these? No, they were like so skin tight, like not nylon, but they weren't not. They were like just polyester material, right? Like you oh, put them oh, on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking like, coffee. <laughs> you put them on. They were like that polyester kind of material, and then you put on like a tank top, and you tuck the tank top in, <laughs> and it would look like. Like the tank top would be grey and the bodycon's going to be khaki or something. Right, yeah. Shocker. Lovely. An absolute shocker. Massive. Um, Von Dutch, yeah. Sure, I wore one to the show. Leg warmers. Are people wearing leg warmers? I've seen them. Po- Actually, yeah, I have seen these stupid things like stilettos and leg warmers again. I'm like, I'm not doing these. Uh, Penny's meals. I don't mind meal. I can't wear a meal. The only person that I know that wears a meal and wears it very well is Lindsay. Who's it? What's a meal? A meal is, you know a meal. Do I know a meal? You know a mule, yeah. Let me show you a mule very. Everybody quickly. Google along with us, so that um. You know a know mule what shoe. Talking about, I d- like, I know when I see it. I just w- but I'm gonna say I didn't know that was called a mule. Yeah, it's the ones that are, they're like slide ons, Jen. Right. You know slide ons. They've no back on them. No back strap. Oh they're like yeah. A, they're like a slipper with a heel. Oh a okay. Mule. With like a heel. These. Yeah, like a mule. Oh, Lindsay definitely gets away with them, yeah. She's the only she's the only person I know that can wear them because otherwise they're like they're like Absolutely. You're they're flapping on you. Away. But for yeah. some reason on her they don't. It's like she was born in them. It's really weird. She wears mini skirts and stuff, like she does just she immerses herself in that style. That's very her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just she's the only person I see that doesn't have trouble wearing them. Yeah. Like she can float around. The flap version of them. With like rolled up. They still clippy clop. Yeah, if you know you know that noise when you're going yeah, around with like, Oh my god, the neon tank tops from anywhere with the three big buttons down the front. Oh god, oh my yeah. God. I think I wore them tops. Oh I had a pink one, I definitely yeah, yeah and I it was one of me. Oxygen. Babes, I yeah. miss anywhere. I for the life of me to this day cannot go into Zara and pick something for me. There's nothing for me in a Zara. There was always something for me in an airway. Airway? Anywhere. It does never happen for me. And I, every time I go into Zara, I'm just like, no, that I can't. And I, every time I ask somebody, where'd you get that? Zara. I'm like, fucking when? Like, wh- why does this, I can never find that in a Zara. I will say Zara's a project. You have to spend time there. Yeah. You do. You have to spend a bit it's of time there. It's a bit, there. I don't know. And then to pit the, the workers, uh, sorry if any Zara workers listen to us. I'm not like, I'm not gener- doing a generalization, but they intimidate the fucking life out of me. 
I just, I know, do you know what it is? I feel bad for the workers in Zara because they're always dressed unbelievably. Yeah. And the place is chaos mm. all of the time. Yeah. There's so much shit everywhere mm-hmm. and people chucking stuff everywhere and fucking shopping trolleys and buggies and fucking groups of kids and groups of teenagers and groups of adults and just yeah. people fucking everywhere. Go to Zara. You know the one in the centre now, the big one? Mm-hmm. Go into the men's section. Yeah. It's like dead. It's like what Zara should be versus you go into the other one and it's like, honestly, it's like that scene of Mean Girls where they're all going after each other in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that. It is. And then I've, I I remember I had, I bought something. It was for me Christmas time. I was panic buying. I ended up getting a thing in Z- uh, Mango. And I know it was the Love day. Mango. All wear the same clothes. So it's like, ma- it's like Zara, but like calmer. Yeah. It's calm Zara. It's Cam like Zara. Um, adult Zara. Yeah. 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 More expensive Zara. Mar- oh, it's so expensive. It's so, so expensive. saucy. You're like, what the fuck? Oh, lads, the coloured beads, the pearls, the coloured, per- you know, the per- like they were like the like a pearl long necklace, like a long yeah. pearl necklace, except you remember in plastic yeah. and in different colours. Did we wear them? Yes, we did. Oh, I wore, well, I, I, I had a set of these and I wore it to Puckle Pop. I feel like that's so... Like if you're going to a festival, no, we no, we were always oh, no, no, no. I no. Did we intentionally wear them? We I don't remember wore that. Them. We intentionally wore them, and you double them up, you'd layer them, which was even worse. Yeah. Um, the knockoff UGG boots. Oh my god, and the arches would be dropped, and they'd be like, Wah. you'd stand behind somebody, and you just see the legs kind of inward, inward. They were yeah. sick. Um, rallied, rallied, absolutely rallied. Uh, but I, do you know what? Uh, unpopular opinion. I think Oaks are tacky because you of that. fucking little bitch. <laughs> not, no, not because, like, they're very expensive. Obviously, they're they're very well made. The real ones, they're very well made. And I can, I get why. It's kind of like, you know how, like, Louis Vuitton, not that Louis Vuitton is ever tacky. And I think it's very obvious what's real and what's not. But it kind of, it takes away from, like, the, the, the knockoff Oaks, really took away from real Uggs because I actually wouldn't pay the money for real Uggs after what I've seen throughout the years. Yeah, I get you. you. Know? I know what you're saying. I'm just like, no. You're like, how would you know? But then I think if you're in it. Yeah, if you bought a piece. If you're in it and you're into pieces. Into pieces. If you're in it and you like to buy pieces. Yeah, I just, then, I, like Burberry went tacky. Yeah, but Burberry have some gorgeous stuff. You know, if you're like yeah. into it, you're like, wow. Some of their like their trench coats and some of their other stuff is just absolutely fab, absolutely fabulous. They had um, that kind of plaid tartan thing going on for a while, didn't they? Burberry they did. London. They did. Um, guys, I have to play this. So a listener just wrote in saying parachute pants. But to add to that, I have a little manky yoke for you. Oh, a little song. Uh, so get ready. Right. For this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like I Who is that? That's how cute. Scooter. It is you are. Maria, I like it loud. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did he go that hard? So good. He didn't need to go that hard. No one needed to go that hard. Nobody needed to go that hard. He's like, I just imagine him waking up in the morning and just doing everything at full throttle. Okay, like, you're, you're getting literally. <laughs> <laughs> Pouring his car. <laughs> Just rather than fucking water. Ah, <laughs> uh, stop. 
<laughs> you didn't have to. Do you know what? We bought, well, I, I had to buy the Scooter album because that was one of our songs for our live shows last year and we had to send on oh the God. audio. But you can send on a Spotify playlist. like So we had to buy the album to be able to download the MP3 to send it to the Sugar Club to be able to play. Yeah. I, it's the fucking best porches in my life. It's still a good bit. It's 16 euro for a scooter album. So when Mika and Jen were writing the show, right, she bought this album and she thought she was deadly because she bought the album. But then she had it gently playing constantly in the background while we were prepping. <laughs> so she, was was there. Trying to, she was almost trying to scoot it in there as if like, this is normal. normal. I mean, it's so profi. We were like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Scooter. She was like, yeah. oh, this was a great song. And it was this like, jump it all <laughs> over the world. <laughs> but you were just sitting there, cool as anything. As oh, if, like, it was the fucking best if, like, get ready sesh in the world. I swear oh. to God, you need a bit of Scooter in your life. So that would put you straight in a good jail. <laughs> like, thank you, listener. You were. That's amazing. Fuck oh sake. my god, I'm so sad we have to wrap this up because we've got a guest coming yes, on. Yes, we do, yeah, um, yeah. I'm just trying to fly through them. Loads yeah. of people said the same. Oh, trousers with the skirt over them. Oh, layer. You didn't feel like you were wearing. Layer in the tank top. So one was like, oh, that's a bit too small to wear on its own. So you wore a long one underneath. So that went over the top of the jeans. Oh, yeah. Then the smaller yeah, tank yeah. went on top of that. Yeah. Just and the then layers. The, the grey bra strap, layers. of course. Uh, mm-hmm. UFO sho- shoes with pedal pushers. Oh god, the pedal capri pushers. pant, if you will. The capri pant, the pedal pushers. Yeah, I know. Viking belts, yeah, and the white gypsy skirts. <gasps> the gypsy. No, I'll allow them. I'll they're allow bo- them. We've sh- no. They've t- transitioned into boho. Yes, I'll allow yeah, them. They're fine. Simply because they're comfy. Yeah, and you could, if you were having a really ca- a casual wedding, getting married very casually, go for it in a forest. You could definitely wear one of them. A white gyp- the gypsy skirts, fuck, and that's like so, like inappropriate to say as well, isn't it? Because like oh, yeah. that's an actual thing, like, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously we've, we've heard the stories. Oh my god, multicolor fishnet tops in every color from magic and Blanche. Magic, wow. oh magic. God, you remember magic? <gasps> there was one in Blanche. Yeah. yeah, magic. You fucking haunted the cape, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, that was a very my sister shop. She was old enough to kind of shop in there. I it was a bit cooler. It was a bit older. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was a oh, bit. Oh, my God. Do you remember Sasha? Me, I really, Sasha was another one, yeah. The jeans scene. huge. Yeah. Do you remember the, the jeans scene? scene? Yeah. Oh. We have talked about that before. I definitely, like, every single one of my mates walked in the jeans scene. <laughs> yeah, most of them. Yeah. Uh, and the, the music oh. was always real loud. My ma, I'd be like, can we go in there? She's like, I'm not going to I don't go into shops that I, if I can't hear myself talking over the radio, they're too they're too young for me. That's that's her. That was her. That was her indicator. That's her navigation into a shop. Clever. The music's too loud. Uh, leggings under mini skirts. Do you remember under this, lads? We still your denim oh, skirt. leggings. Leggings no. under yeah. mini skirts. Your denim skirt. And your you leggings. Your Uggs. Your whatever. Oh, your Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie and your puffer jacket. That's oh oh. I've some. Do you know that scene from a. Uh, Fade Street, where she's at oxygen. I can see her wearing oh something like that. Yeah, something yeah. along those lines. Um, Air Max runners with the laces so loose, you were basically walking out of the shoes. Yes, I was. They were the mule. It they were the mule. So, un- like, it was so uncool to tie your own shoes. Oh, God. I still have a complex about that. I look at me shoes, right? <laughs> They tie tight. They're tie tight. They're converse. They're tie tight. Yeah. But I question, I was doubting myself at every knot. When I was tying these this morning, I was like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. It's like I have... Oh, it's like PTSD. It's not not even PTSD. It's like, you know, that kind of, you can't unlearn something. So it, it oh, went yeah. against everything. Everything in your body. Yeah. yeah. No, lads. To no. tie these. Low rise, sorry, flare jeans that soaked up every bit of rain all the way up to your knees. No! <laughs> <laughs> You'd always see the fucking, the river going up the back of somebody's... He'd be the like, what's caps. the problem? Oh, I used to be like, mine would be all the way up to my thighs. Like, yeah. I'd be like, what's the issue? And you'd still be walking around. And I remember every, or sorry, the ripped tracks at the bottoms. Remember they rip at the back and you were like, that's cool. The O'Neill's, remember they had the little zip at the back and then they'd rip. The button, and he'd be like, that's savage. And they'd go all the way, they'd go literally all the way up to your like knees and you'd be like, what's the issue? The button ups, they, uh, all the way up to the side. They came back for a while. I remember Kim Kardashian was going around wearing them yeah. a while ago. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Um, so yeah, so that is unfortunately we gotta go. But yeah. that is So uh I won't do the jingles. Hilarious. Fuck it. We'll just splat we'll just you know, go do you wanna put that as your stamper? 
I actually have another stomper. Oh, do you want to play? So well, I don't know. Do you want to get a bonus stomper? You get a bonus get stomper. A bonus stomper. Get a bonus stomper. My unpopular opinion. I don't want to play the jingle. Was just I don't. I don't like oaks because okay. re- real oaks because okay. of that's okay. We'll yeah. let you have that one. Right. Okay. Um, Will I do your jingle? Yeah. Go. Carlos, stomper of the week. So this is going to be the winning song at Eurovision this year. Oh, you told me about this. I've just realised it's not my unpopular opinion this week. Anyway, we'll get you for two next. Anyway. <laughs> we get the next two. Anyway. Um, so this is for sure. So I tried to get Eurovision tickets. So sad. Sorry, that's a lie. Tom tried to get me Eurovision tickets. And he was like, no, they're sold out. Uh, because it's in Liverpool this year. Mm. But this, ha- like lads, this is absolutely... I haven't heard it yet. The and winning song. So this is your one who sang Euphoria. Yeah, this is Lorraine. Yeah. She did Euphoria. Mm-hmm. She hasn't even won the Swedish round yet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but we all know. But like, it's her. Yeah. And I, I was like to Tom, I was like, start pricing Stockholm for next year. Do you yeah. know? Like one of my friends lives over there. We'll make, a, we'll have a ball. Like, but I'm literally like, this is like, this is the winning song. If this isn't the winning song, then what the fuck? Yeah, okay. Do you know? But this is for sure, 100%. And it's so Eurovision. Right. You okay. know, when you're like, this is such a, Euro, like it's such a Eurovision I'm, tune. I'm only ever going to compare it to Euphoria. Let's go. Okay. Sounds like Euphoria, doesn't it? <gasps> it does, it's very similar. No, when you listen to the two side by side, it doesn't. It does remind me of it though. But baby, we both know. Oh yeah. It's a I already love this it. Is not a oh. time. I don't hate this. It's time to say goodbye. Okay. Until we meet again. Oh Jesus. The layers still the like end. chill so on my body. Right, so wait, you can hear the bridge in the chorus are going to die. Okay. How, how long can we get here? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's giving. Yeah, it's giving me. Oh. Oh, it's giving me. 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 From everyone From what? everyone But look It's so It's like The perfect It's fantastic It's like an incredibly written Yeah Pop song You know when you're yeah. like I'm actually obsessed with you I'm actually Yeah I, You have tears there right? I know <laughs> I can't wait Wait for it No one will care about the moon oh, yeah. No one will oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 oh that's amazing I love that. It's really winning. Like that. Yeah. It's fucking winning. I don't care what anybody says. That's, that's the winner. Just very powerful, isn't it? Place your bets now. Absolutely. And that's the one that I would give it to the Swedes. They oh, fucking know how to write a great pop tune. Oh, great song. Three the girls. We we call them Swedish House Mafia. Because we, we, we were in. <laughs> <laughs> they're from Sweden. Okay. <laughs> Sophia, Emily, and uh, what was the other girl's name? <coughs> anyway, they were the three, three girls that we were in Crete with. And it was the year, I think it was 2012 or 2014, she did Euphoria. And like, they 2012. fucking, ah, oh, they, like, they, their reaction to it was just fucking gas. Like, we, could, we called them Swedish House Mafia. <laughs> they were fucking mad to treat them. Yeah. Gas. Beautiful looking women. Oh, probably. <gasps> fucking hell. Tall. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, um, so that's the stomper, lads. That is, put your bookies, I'm telling you I now. I wouldn't say you get good odds on that. No, I think everybody that. knows. Yeah, but apparently the other, there's like, it's her and these other two lads, Max and something, and it's another kind of dancey tune, and right. people are like, they fucking better not now. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't, no, that's it. Like, it's that's very, the winner. It's like. very fucking that's powerful. It. It's beautiful. Fucking oh, very powerful. Fucking very good for the Eurovision. Very good. Um, thanks for listening. We are going to go and record with our guest now. No. For our pet down. So join us over there. The links are always in the description. There's a few links. Have a look at the links. If you don't, if you're not listening to us and then you don't you never scroll into the thing, we've few links there. Might be interested. You know, you know, give, you might like it. Give them a little go. I just put thanks. That's all I ever put in the description. Thanks. thanks. Give them a little tap. Thanks anyone for listening. We love you very much and we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.